We, the people of God, need to elect public servants who know the difference between serving the public and killing the public. And if a public servant does not know that difference, they don't belong in public office, and we need to be able to say that. We need to be able to say it in our families, in our places of work, and in our pulpits. Clearly, unapologetically, and consistently. And brothers and sisters, praise God, that is happening more and more and more. So that we, at this Napa Institute, talking about proclaiming the gospel for the next America, are able to sing the Star Spangled Banner proudly. We know that no nation, no government, no political effort is our salvation. Jesus Christ alone is our salvation. But when we connect with him and he fills us, he engages us in the political process. And brothers and sisters, we have a great nation founded on this principle that yes, indeed, God gives our rights. And our first duty in government is to protect those rights, not to edit them. And did you ever realize that the Star Spangled Banner that first verse that is the one most well known ends with a question. I find this very inspiring. It ends with a question. Oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. It's ending with a question to us. The song is saying in other words hey that flag was still waving come the morning we could see by the dawn's early light it was still there. Because people gave their lives to defend what it stands for, starting with the God-given right to life. It was there. Because those who believe in liberty love liberty more than life. Their own lives. As we said at the beginning here, the Son of Man has come to serve, to lay down his life. We have our country built on people who lay down their lives for a principle that we believe in also in the church. So we have fought, the, the Star Spangled Banner says, we fought, we died, people suffered, they persevered through the dark night, and lo and behold, that banner still waved. And now we have a question that spans the centuries. Now we have a question that comes down through the generations. Now we have a question for the next America. Now we have a question for you who raise the flag and salute the flag and put your hand over your heart. And the question is this, is it still waving? Or are you still fighting? Or are you still holding on with clarity and preaching with conviction the principles for which these people died? Are you still holding on and proclaiming with conviction the gospel for which God died? Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave today in the midst of the culture of death. Today, in the midst of the tyranny of relativism. Today, in the midst of the challenges we face, is it still waving? And are we still giving ourselves away in love? Brothers and sisters, through the intercession of St. James, through the intercession of St. John Paul II, through the grace we're getting at this Napa Institute, and through all the graces God gives you and me every day, we can answer that question today. And we can and we will be able to say yes.